Eskimos back on the right track. Eight games to go. It's a whole new season for them. New era for the Eskimos under Eric Tillman, who is here today. The Alouettes take it. It's Diamond Ferry on the return, and Ferry is tackled at the 32-yard line, so the first time. Yes. Third and five for the Owls. Siding against bringing out Damon Duvall. Calvillo, first possession drives. In their opening possession. Kristen Jackson has the ball at the goal line and tries to pick his way out. And the Alouettes special teams do a good job putting the Eskimos in a hole. They'll begin at their own. And after giving up the two-point safety, the Eskimos will pick it down to the Alouettes. Again, the Diamond Ferry. Bulldozing Diamond Ferry. Forget about him. He's gone. It's a touchdown. 84 yards. And through. Well, we thought the Montreal Alouettes might miss Tim Maypre in the return game. That Andrew Hawkins would be the, the big threat. Clearly, that's what the Edmonton Eskimos thought, kicking away from Hawkins and two Ferry. Well, Diamond Ferry's going to make him think twice the next time. Running through contact like the linebacker he is. Taking this one to the house. There we go. Their first return. Uh, Diamond Ferry comes up with the big kickoff return for the Montreal Alouettes. Big boost from their special teams. From an Edmonton point of view, they get caught in too many different levels and it creates a little bit of a gap eventually in their coverage. That's their first problem. Guys coming down at different levels. Next problem, missed tackle. Rod Davis had a shot. He goes for the big collision on Diamond Ferry instead of trying to wrap up. Diamond Ferry, physical player. We know this is a guy who on defense plays has put the ball on the 50-yard line for Montreal and Duvall. With an off, little onside kick here. And the Alouettes trying to put the boots. Could also win a million bucks. Well, Diamond Ferry did that. Unlikely candidate to bring one back, but he is on the return. Tells him to take off, and he is brought down. What a game for Diamond Ferry so far. Oh, the short side linebacker. Starts about two yards off the line of scrimmage. Just lays this loop in behind the defensive line a little bit. Gets a free. Oh, baby. in Montreal, baby. We're bringing that flames to the Eskimos. Diamond Ferry, what a sparkling game so far. Return for a touchdown. Interception now. There was second and long now for the Eskimos. Straight offense. Six receivers set. Here's the rush again. And over the top and an easy interception for Diamond Ferry. The play that got possession. For the Montreal Alouettes, Diamond Ferry lines up as a second safety on this play. Routes should be coming inside and outside him. Fred Stamps goes to the outside. Marco Mitchell is coming on a slant and should be going exactly to that spot where Diamond Ferry is, but Mitchell doesn't get there in time. Just his second game in the Eskimos offense. Perhaps a lack of fam familiarity or confidence in where he's supposed to be. Ricky Ray throws it to... If anything offensively until the final two minutes in the second quarter. Well, Prefontaine ribs one along the ground. Terry Carter brings it down at the 48-yard line. And that's AC-like numbers, but 311 yards to the end. Wobbly kick. Kristen Jackson. Going backwards now. They can't get him. Jackson. What a block there. Carrie Carter eventually throws him down a yard. 
pass and run play. Ferry comes from that end of the defensive line. Got a free run at Ricky Ray. That called injury. Anthony Calvillo, 38 years young. Loves to play the game of football.